Well, there's going to be a day three. Look at this. Listen. I tell you what. Meteorology is the only profession where you can be wrong half the time and keep your job. Now, it may get windy, but they said I was supposed to wake up to 15 mile an hour winds and temperature in the high 40s. It's cool. It ain't the high 40s and well, I ran north. I ran far. But even even down there, there was a ripple. Here it's glass. It's crazy. <clears throat> anyway, this is all new water. I haven't fished any of this. And I'm going to do something different. <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to drop shot on beds. I'm just going to... I might be able to see now before it gets windy. And if I see them, that's what I'm going to do. But while I'm cruising in the, in the shallows, if I see dark, I'm going to be pitching a drop shot. Um, I don't know why I want to do that, but I do. I, you know, the last two days, what I've been doing, it's not working. So I might as well try something different. And I know they're on beds. <clears throat> I mean, I saw a lot of fish. You know, I'd go into an area and I'd throw the spinner bait, the jerk bait. And then as I pass through the area, I'd see a bass swim off. <clears throat> those bass were on beds. And my, th those lures... <clears throat> <clears throat> I got allergies, too. Um, the lures are going too fast. You know, because I finally found a bed fish yesterday late. And sat on them for 20 minutes. And couldn't get them, you know, even just sitting there. So with a spinnerbait flying by him, he's not... Most of them aren't going to eat it. So anyway, I'm going to try that. I'm going to start here, and I'm just going to start working my way back that way in these coves. Um, we'll see what happens. I can't get them to bite. They're all over. I got, I got smallmouth in here. It's right there. I throw it out. I, work, I had one. He opened his mouth <laughs> like he was going to eat it. He just wouldn't eat it. I've been following it up with the drop shot, and I did lose one on the drop shot. But uh, see the dark area? Everywhere where there's dark area, there's fish. And they're, I mean, they're just not quite, watch. Nope. They just won't go on it. They follow it. So what I'm doing, I still don't have a fish. I'm, uh, I'm working the dark areas with this. And then when I see that they're there, I'm following it up. So after I work this, I'll come back through here with my drop shot. Um, but so far, man, I've had, I had one, I could see him. I was in a cove back there where it was calm. When I dropped down, he, he was there, but uh, I couldn't get him to eat it. I was sight fishing them. They're hard to catch. They're, they're, I mean, they don't seem like they're easy to catch. Well, here's the deal. I got a limit of fish sitting in here. I just can't get them to bite. I ran over to that side. I'm protected from the wind here. It's a lot rougher, and there's not nearly as much of this uh, rock structure. I, I made a pass, nothing happened. I'm trying to figure out, do I leave this, even though there's a limit right here, and just try to go find more fish, or do I figure out how to get these guys to bite? A couple of them are decent fish. I just, I can't get them to bite. Well, I went and left fish to try to find fish, which makes absolutely no sense, but I couldn't get those fish to bite. So I'm hoping maybe uh, I find some more aggressive ones, I don't know, but uh, what, what I'm doing, I'm throwing the jerk bait because it gets them triggered. You know, they I, I've, I had a lot of followers, so the jerk bait is like my search bait. And then if I if I you know run into fish, then I'm throwing the uh, the drop shot and I'm dragging it. I uh, that's it, and I'm just working my. I got lucky. <laughs> both first two days the wind blew out of the south today it's blowing out of the north so it's going to push me back in that direction i was fully planning on battling those waves all the way back so i got lucky 
okay well here's an update i've been fishing three hours i don't have a fish um the wind's supposed to just get worse and worse as the day goes on and my body is still hurting from yesterday i keep forgetting how old i am that uh that jerk bait takes it out of you i i'm what i'm doing is i'm throwing the spinner bait and i'm looking for the dark spots in these coves i'm running the spinner bait by them if i don't get bit i'm running to the next cove i want to work my way back because i have a feeling today is if if best case is going to be like yesterday and uh i i don't want to be out here all day i, I want to get on the road early so unless something magical happens i mean i was i was in a cove that had fish i just couldn't get them to bite it's crazy but i'm gonna do this and just work my way back and hopefully pick off one here and there and hopefully i got a long way to get back <laughs> oh it's not a bass darn it i think it's a striper what a shame oh it is a bass oh my god well you know what if you're gonna catch one let it be a good one come here buddy I don't want to get skunked. Come here. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Come here. Come here. Oh, man. Look at that. Oh, I got to put you in the live well so I can show the camera. Ah. There he is. Let me make sure it's on. Uh, yeah, it's on. <laughs> I just don't know if I'm going to catch any. Uh, it's 11.30, I've been here three and a half hours, and uh, he's three pounds, two ounces, three pounds, two ounces, and you know what, just because of him, I'm going to make a day three video, even if he's the only one I catch. of the time you know I'm working my way back I mean if I get four and I need one for a limit I'll probably stay I gotta be out of here by five for sure so let's keep going see what happens another one on the spinner bait he's not that big oh he's a keeper I think whoa he's a fighter oh he's close <laughs> He's close. Come here. Come here. Come here. I'm not setting the big camera up unless... Uh, I didn't catch him in the mouth. Look at that. Got him in the bottom of the lip. So he swiped at it. He was on a bed. Um, I, I, it takes too long. I'm trying to cover a lot of water here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set the big camera up when I'm either in a area actually i may set it up in there where there's a lot of water to fish 110 um and then if i catch let's say anything over three two and a half to three i'll i'll put them in the live well and set it up that's two i'm getting rejuvenated 110 that's two fish in uh, half an hour. I'll take that. Well, I may as well show you what I've been doing for the last uh, hour or so. I finally found some tulies in deep water. And uh, they're in here. They're, I've seen probably four of them. I just can't get them to bite. I think because they know I'm here. The only way I can get back here, I got to push in. Um, and so they're they're aware of me. I don't know if that's one right there. It might be no. 
Um, yeah, I mean, they're in here. <clears throat> now I've just been trying to get, if I can get one, I'd probably stay and do the whole thing, do the rest of the day. I'm just, I'm not able to get them to bite. Um, if I, if I see one, I'll turn the camera back on. That guy right there, I've seen probably at least half a dozen right here. I'm using the drop shot. I'm pitching it ahead. But they're just not eating. They're on beds. Look at that guy. I mean, that's a four pounder, I think. There's a big boy right there. A big boy. See him? That's at least four. That might be five pounds and his bed is right there. I'm too close, but I drifted. I'm gonna, uh, I think I'm just gonna try to catch him and take whatever time it is necessary. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna, I'm gonna sight fish, darn it. Well, my inability to catch a limit is not because I can't find fish, it's because I can't catch fish. There's, right along this bank, I'll bet it's a, uh, what, four, eight, close, close to a 20 pound limit right here. And I can't get them to bite. And when I was in that, uh, I was in that uh, one, one cove, there was a limit in there. I caught, uh, I don't think I caught any. No, I didn't, I didn't catch any in that cove. So I've been around fish. I just can't get them to bite. Okay, I'm done. I gotta hit the road. Oh uh, man, I tell you, the frustrating thing about the, today, it wasn't that I only caught two fish. I was around so many fish. There, there's so many bass in these coves and I can't catch them. I'll bet you 15 bass followed my spinnerbait and my jerkbait to the boat today. I saw uh, countless bass on beds couldn't catch those. I mean, it wasn't good sight fishing weather, but I don't think it would have made any difference because, I mean, maybe, but when, as soon as I got near it, you know, they were gone. And then I back off and I pitched to where the bed was. Couldn't see them. You know, it was just, just kind of feeling for a bite. Nothing. I mean, they're everywhere and I couldn't catch them. So that's on me. You know, it's not like I would rather be able to say, you know, I just didn't find them, just didn't get the right water, whatever. Um, that wasn't the case, especially today. I, I saw so many fish today, it's ridiculous. So, oh well. And you know, at first I thought, I drove 20 hours for three mediocre days of fishing. Was it worth it? Then I thought about it, and you know what? Yes, it was worth it. I got to fish three straight days in 75 degree weather. I'll bet it's 40 degrees colder where I live. <laughs> it was, it was unbelievable, the weather. I mean, it's, it's windy, but you know, it's not that bad. And you know, it's like a vacation. It's like I got to go to Hawaii for three days. So yeah, it was worth it. In fact, it was so worth it, I'm doing it again. I'm not coming here. Um, but, and it's not going to be 20 hours, but I already got in my head where I'm going next and it's going to be a long drive. So that's the end of this one. I'm going to post three videos. The, none of them are going to be real entertaining, but I need to post three videos so I can spread it out a little because otherwise I'm going to run out of videos to, to post. So this won't be much of a fishing video. I didn't catch one three pounder. And you know how on the, on the picture on my videos, I show like a picture of my day on the water? It seems like I always get at least one good one, so the picture looks good. It's deceiving, you know, someone's going to see this video, me holding, I think it was three pounds if I remember right, and uh, oh man, that guy caught him. <laughs> I caught both those fish within 30 minutes of each other. Okay, I got to hit the road. I am not looking forward to the next 20 hours. Thanks for watching. That's uh that's five five videos, no limits. I'm going to I'm going to change my name to Below Average Joe. <laughs> See ya.